Hey everyone, James Beck here. Welcome back for some VDC 2016 content. Today, I have a Twitter battle from uh, Esco VGC. His link will be in the description. Go check him out down below. Anyway, we will be doing a best of three set. Today's team, something a bit different. A lot of you guys have asked me for a specific archetype that has been been really common in VGC and I haven't really gotten to show it off yet. So I am using a team that revolves around Mega Ray Quaza. I basically took six random Pokemon and put it in a box. No, I actually took some Pokemon that are really commonly paired with Ray Quaza. So I want to see how this team can do, especially since uh, it's actually pretty strong, Mega Ray Quaza. Um, a lot of people think Mega Ray Quaza, it's overpowered in singles. And... For a fact, it is overpowered singles. VGC, people thought it was going to be very big. It's not that bad because you have two opponents and Dragon's Ascent really just gets rid of any bulk that Mega Rayquaza has. However, a really well played Mega Rayquaza can dominate teams. I have experienced it. I have done it before. And one of the combos that I really want to try was Mega Rayquaza plus Clefairy. Because ironically, in February, I said that if... VGC 26, if they ever allowed Rayquaza in VGC 2016, I would use Rayquaza Clefairy after uh, doing well at uh, Medicine Regionals. Maybe it wasn't February. No, it was more like March or April, but anyway, we are going to get started. I really don't know how this team works, especially since I don't even know the sets of my own mods. I don't even know the sets of my own mods. I barely checked them. The only ones I really checked were the Rayquaza and the Clefairy, but... Esco's got a team of Kyogre, Groudon, Kangaskhan, Mawal, Amoongus, and Cresselia. So very heavy Trick Room team. And unfortunately, my team does not have really good ways to deal with Trick Room. Uh, Farofarn just puts in a lot of work against this team if I am able to get rid of the Groudon. So Groudon will probably be the biggest threat I have to get rid of on the field. I am taking notes for this battle just so... You know, it's the best of three. You should always take notes in the best of three. It's really, it'd be really good to know some sets, especially if that's Power Punch Kangaskhan. Is that the Fake Out Plus Protect Kangaskhan? Or maybe he won't even bring Kangaskhan. That's definitely a possibility. But I think Mawile will be the Mega Evolution for my opponent's choice. Mawile does actually a decent amount to my team. So, honestly, I feel like I could win with uh, Kyogre plus Farofarn. Yeah, that could actually work really well here. I might want to consider that. But right now, let's see. Amoongus is an annoying issue. Now, I don't think he would bring Amoongus. I have Talonflame plus Rayquaza plus Farofarn. Amoongus really doesn't anything. So I can pretty much eliminate Amoongus from my opponent's choice now. I kind of want to lead... I'm running out of time, so I'm going to pick the four mods that I think could do well in this game. I really want to bring the Clefairy, and trust me, I do. But I feel like he's going to lead Mawal Cresselli. I think that's a very safe lead for my opponent, so that's what I'm anticipating right now. So I think I think Lipert could actually just really help against Cresselia plus... Yep, it's the Mawal, just as predicted. I do lead the Rayquaza plus the Lipert now. This is interesting. So, here, I don't know if he fears Earth Power from Mega Rayquaza. Uh, Earth Power is definitely a possibility. Yeah, it's definitely a possibility. He should fear it. I feel like I could just go for the Fake Out onto Mawa, though, since he's not going to protect. Yeah. Just fake out safe, and I think maybe just a Dragon's Ascent onto Cresselia just to get any damage. Because if I'm able to stall us Trick Room successfully, uh, it will really help. So I think just fake out and Dragon's Ascent into the Cresselia, fake out Mawile, Dragon's Ascent into the Cresselia is very safe. Unfortunately, this Clefairy does not carry after you. I'm sorry if you watched my battle against Conan, but the Clefairy does not carry after you in this set. It does carry the Helping Hand. Because Helping Hand plus 2 Extreme Speed can knock out Pokemon such as Xerneas, Mega 
uh, Salamence is just a really strong option and I thought Helping Hand might be uh, more worth it. So here I don't think I have a bad position at all. Here he could also just switch out the... Um, he could switch out but I didn't really think he was as I am going to Mega Evolve in my Rayquaza. Mega Rayquaza, let's see how much you're going to do to this Cresselia after the Intimidate. I also want to know if he's... Um, I want to know if he's... Oh, wow. 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 Was not expecting to protect from the Mawa, but that is fine. As we fake out the Mawa and we get the Dragon's Ascent off onto the Cresselia. I'm actually really surprised he went for the Protect. That, that could have been really bad for him, but Dragon's Ascent still does a decent amount, which is uh, okay with me as let's see what he's going to go for. Probably Trick Room. Yep, it is going to be Trick Room. As Trick Room is going to be set up, that is fine. As here, he might want to switch out Mawa because obviously Encore is a move. And I do carry Encore. Why do I carry Fake Tears on this Lightbird? I kind of didn't want Fake Tears. I'd rather have Taunt, but... Um, since we do not know what kind of Cresselia he has, it could be Citrus Berry. It could be Mental Herb. I do not want it to be Mental Herb. I think... If he's mental or if he's just going to go for the Ice Beam play rough. I think either way he would just double up into Rayquaza if he's not mental herb. That way he could possibly pick up a knockout. So I think Encore into Mawile is my safest play. And switch out Rayquaza into Farofran since Farofran has a really good position here. If he wants to switch into Groudon later that is fine because I do have my Kyogre in the back. Uh, to get rid of any water type moves. As he is going to withdraw Maul, which does make sense. Let's see if the Groudon does come out. It's actually Kyogre, which makes my uh, Farofran switch, uh, you know, look really good. <laughs> As uh, Kyogre is going to come out. So he did bring the Kyogre. So he would have probably brought Groudon the back because he has no way to handle my... He has no way to handle my Farofran. So that is actually pretty decent as we're going to bring out my Farofran here. As, let's see what he's going to go for with Cresselia. I would imagine the Ice Beam into the Rayquaza. No, it's actually going to be the Live Bird. He's going to try to break my Focus Ash, which is fine. I could have got a free Dragon's Ascent off, uh, but it's not really a big deal. So, here. Hmm, what do I want to do? I know what... Let's see. I could... Hmm, I'm in a pretty awkward situation because Kyogre most likely is going to protect Cresselia is probably going to switch out I think I'm just going to fake here this is the problem with this Lyper I have no, no offensive presence going for me I'm going to fake tears the Cresselia and go for the Elite Seed into Cresselia slot yeah I don't think Kyogre is that big of a problem right now or maybe I should have encore the Cresselia, but he's probably going to switch out Cresselia. It's very likely he's going to switch out Cresselia and protect Kyogre because uh, he doesn't want Kyogre obviously to go down to a possible power up. He does not know what kind of Farofran set I'm running. And basically he needs to get rid of Farofran. Farofran a huge pain for his team. He literally cannot touch Farofran other than Groudon. So my win condition is getting rid of Groudon if possible. But that means I do have to weaken his members a bit. But I don't want to target into a Protect because a Protect from Kyogre is super obvious. It's really super obvious. And Groudon could probably freely switch in actually here. So that's why I'm targeting the Cresselia. He is going to withdraw the Cresselia. Let's see if he goes into the Groudon. He is going to go into Groudon. That is nice because he will not be able to go for any um, water type attacks. He'll probably be forced to go for Ice Beam. As Groudon is going to come out here. That is completely fine. As Let's see uh, what the Kyogre goes for. If it goes for the Ice Beam, that's fine. As he actually pulls a double switch. Interesting. That is fine. As he goes into Mawile. That is completely fine. As Mawile going to get the Intimidate off. Against my Farofran. So we now know all four of his Pokemon. We get the fake tears off. Which of course doesn't really help. As I'm going to Leech Seed his Groudon. And get some decent damage. 
Now, luckily, his uh, Cresselia is weakened, so I could probably knock it out with an Origin Pulse plus Power Whip if it's not Citrus Berry. So, here, I could probably just fake out the Mala. How many turns of Trick Room? Let me count the turns of Trick Room. It's been... Let's see, the first one was when it set up Trick Room. Mala switched out, so that would be turn 2. This is turn... The last turn was turn 3. This would probably be the last... No. There'd probably be another turn of Trick Room after this, so... Uh, let's see. You know, targeting the Lypert is pretty safe for him. So I think I want to Fake Tears the Mawal. Yeah, Fake Tears the Mawal. I could Protect Farafor and switch out. I think Sacking Lypert is my best play, though. So I'm going to Protect Farafor, as he's actually going to pull a double. Wow. Probably expecting my Kyogre to come in as Cresselia is going to come out, which is fine. As Mawa is going to Mega Evolve. Uh, oh, wow. I probably should have thought about that. He was really sw scared of my Kyogre switch. But I think he would have just went for Precipice Blades then. So I believe... I feel like he's special. He's got to be special Groudon. Or mixed. Now, if he was mixed, he would have went for it anyway. As he goes for the Iron Head into my Lyper, that is fine. Lyper's going to go down. As here, I'm going to go into my... I can go into my Kyogre, but there's no point. I'm going to go into Ray. Or maybe I should went to Kyogre and then switch down into Ray, predicting his Groudon. I guess that could have made sense. This is the last turn of Trick Room. So I am going to protect my Rayquaza and just Leech Seed his Cresselia. Because getting rid of Cresselia and having Ky a fast Kyogre probably could just actually win me the game right here. So that is definitely possible. We know all four of his mods, fortunately. I do wish I had after you on Clefairy because after you on Clefairy might have just allowed my Kyogre to sweep his entire team. Of course, there's the ground on the back with the Desolate Land. If I can get his... If I can get his Groudon on a desolate land and force him to have Groudon plus Kyogre in the back and I have his Kyogre activate his ability, I think I just win the game straight out from there. So if I knock out both these mons, it's very possible. However, I can't really knock out both his mons right now. I'm also wondering if his Mawal carries the Fire Fang. I doubt it does, but he's going to withdraw into Groudon, which is completely fine. As Yeah, that's fine. That actually helps me quite a bit, actually. Let's see what he's going to go for with... He, oh, that gets rid of my uh, Desolate Land. Okay, I understand the play now. As we get the Leaf Seed off onto his Cresselia. Let's see if he's Citrus Berry. If he's not Citrus Berry, I can possibly Encore him in the second game. As he does Ice Beam my Rayquaza. This should be the last turn of Trick Room. Leaf Seed, I wouldn't be surprised if he's Mental Herb. Uh, he is Citrus Berry, however. Okay. That's fine. As the Twisted Dimensions are going to return to normal now. I feel like I can get a free Dragon's Descent off onto his Cresselia. Cresselia is not a Pokemon that carries Protect. And I do need to get rid of Cresselia. I can't really afford Trick Room to go back up. And I think I'm going to bring out my Kyogre here. The reason I'm bringing out Kyogre is because... Uh, one. If he is Special Ground on like I'm predicting... The only move he could really do to touch my Rayquaza is go for an Eruption, unless he goes for the Ice Beam with Cresselia. However, if he goes for Ice Beam with Cresselia, I'm completely fine with that, because that would just probably allow me to win the game. Of course, he also has to be worried about the Rayquaza, I think, with the Groudon. Of course, Earth Power is a move that some Rayquazas opt for. Of course, mine doesn't, and he might know that just because of the Clefairy, but it's definitely possible. But definitely just knocking out this Cresselia is huge. Now, we did see that he's Citrus Berry Cresselia. Now, that's going to be really helpful for later in the game. Well, in the set, because one Citrus Berry means I can Encore him into Trick Room. He's forced to switch out. As I am going to withdraw my Fur Offering, he did not switch out. So, he probably went for either a Fire-type move, Precipice Blades, Earth Power. Maybe he went for a Sub if he has it. I kind of doubt it. As I am going to go into Kyogre, bring out my Primal Reversion 
here. He might not even think I had Kyogre in the back. He might have thought I had Clefairy in the back or something. As I do bring out my Kyogre, as it's going to get the Primordial C up. Let's see. We do get the Dragon sent off. No Protects coming out. As we are going to do a huge amount of damage to this Cresselia. Maybe he just went for the Ice Beam because it's definitely possible. As Dragon's Descent is barely able to miss the Knockout. As, But it did a lot. It did a lot. As let's see what he's going to go for. Substitute with Groudon. Okay, so it's a sub Groudon. And Trick Room. But that's not really that big of a deal for my team. Yeah, sub Groudon. <laughs> As Leech Seed, um, Cresselia does faint, which is nice because Cresselia is the Pokemon that I really want to get rid of. Now, let's see who he's going to bring out. Is it going to be Mawal? Probably Mawal because Mawal offers the most offensive pressure here. I guess he could bring out Kyogre. But I think Mawa would be his play. Um, of course, this is a very actually tough situation now that I think about it. As Mawa is going to come out now. I do not think I live a play rough for Mega Mawa, which is the unfortunate part. I think here I go for the extreme speed. Yeah, I think I go for the extreme speed. I want to ground on to break a sub. I might have to rely on Kyogre winning the game. Yeah, I'm gonna extreme speed his ground on. And protect. I don't think he's gonna play Referee Quasar because play Referee Ray Quasar kinda makes no sense. Unless he predicts me to protect with Kyogre. It's definitely possible though. Oh man. We're playing the mind games and I don't like this position. As you can see, Trick Room is a huge weakness for this team. I really have no way to stop it. I wish I had Taunt on this Lipard, but I didn't, unfortunately. As, you know, it's so obvious. It's really just so obvious that I kind of just want an Origin Pulse. You know what? I'm going to risk it. I'm going to go for the Origin Pulse. Uh, let's see if he does play rough my Rayquaza or play rough my Kyogre, but Kyogre would uh, would most likely protect. So you have to think about my opponent. If he play roughs uh, the uh, Rayquaza, he could just win. As play rough, he actually misses my Kyogre, which is really unfortunate. And he's pressed up his blades. That's an interesting choice. As wow, that really sucks for my opponent. Of course, I could miss Origin Pulse. As I do miss the Origin Pulse, but it's on the wrong Pokemon that he needed Groudon to win the game. So, Groudon is going to go down to my Origin Pulse. And, yeah, that is really unfortunate for my opponent. He needed Groudon to get rid of my Farafarn. However, that's not what happened here. As he's going to bring out his own Kyogre. And here, I can just go for the Protect. Double Protect, I think. Um, do I want to double protect? Yeah, I kind of want to double protect here. I cannot really have Farafarn damage because it is my win condition. And this game is still not over. If he has Scald, he can burn me. And uh, burning Farafarn could actually win him the game. It's definitely possible. He could also have Fire Fang on the small wall. Uh, that is also definitely possible. I don't know if he had Fire Fang. I... It's highly doubtful you would have Fire Fang. As we are going to protect with my Kyogre and my Rayquaza. I want to scout what he's going to do. Uh, who he would target, really. It would probably just uh, Iron Head and Ice Beam or Play Rough Water Spout. As he Iron Heads my Rayquaza and goes for the Water Spout. So, okay, he, did go, he does go for the Water Spout. Uh, here, I'd rather just go for the Extreme Speed onto his Kyogre to weaken the Water Spout. And go for the Origin Pulse. Uh... Yeah. As Extreme Speed is going to connect, yes, the game is lagging a lot because of the legends on the field. That's a really bulky Kyogre. That's a really bulky Kyogre. Unless this Rayquaza does not have any Eevees, which I do think it does. Wow, he gets a crit with uh, Iron Head. I do not think it mattered. As he does go for the Water Spout, let's see if this is able to knock us out. Uh, it is able to knock us out, but that's fine as... Oh, critical hit. That, I don't know. Could have mattered. I don't think it does. As I'm going to bring out my Farafarn and go for Leech Seed. Yeah, just go for Leech Seed. 
onto his Kyogre because uh, Leech Seed or a um, Mawile. Kyogre would most likely protect. Yeah, Kyogre would protect here. as Unless he double protects. But Leech Seed onto Mawile is the safest option because one, Kyogre would probably protect from the possible Power Whip. Two, oh, he double protects. Okay. He does double protect? Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. As we do Leech Seed into the Mawile, as Twisted Dimensions return to normal, here I'm going to go for the Leech Seed onto Kyogre. This is definitely not over. It's definitely not over by a long shot. As he goes for Sucker Punch, that's actually interesting. As he goes for Water Spout, this uh, is going to do a decent amount, but yeah, it's not going to do that much. Hopefully I do not miss my Leech Seed. I do connect with my Leech Seed. That should guarantee me the game because the Leech Seed does help. He probably went for the Sucker Punch anticipating my Power Whip because Kyogre can do a lot of damage to Farofhorn. But I just want to play it safe. I'm not going to risk it on Power Whip. I also don't want to take Sucker Punch damage because Sucker Punch would still hurt Farofhorn quite a bit. As here I'm just going to protect my Farofhorn. Obviously if this was a real VGC game you could win on timer because of two Pokemon. And... If that were the case, um, it would actually depend, because I might have been able to win on timer depending on how this works. I don't think I would have, because obviously there would be timer stall. But I wouldn't probably have taken this long to make moves because of my commentary, so that way. So I am draining this Kyogre's health. He cannot go for Water Spout because Water Spout will not do that much anymore. I'm going to go for the Leech Seed onto Mawa, which is my safest play. He'll probably go for like Iron Head. Uh, trying to get some flinches, possi possibly, but that won't win him the game. As he goes for the Ice Beam, probably going for the Freeze, and probably because it does the most damage. As I'm actually surprised that didn't freeze as he goes for the Iron Head. That's going to take... That's going to have him take some damage. As you can see, Mawa and Kyogre are not slouches as they do 50% to my Farof run. But I do connect with my Leech Seed, and that should guarantee me the game because here, even if I get frozen... I can just protect next turn and I'll be at full HP. And either way, I'm recovering about 25% each turn and he would not be able to knock me out. As look at all that health I'm gaining back from the Leech Seed, plus leftovers. That is insane. Farofhorn is one of those Pokemon where if you can protect it against these kinds of teams, it can just do a lot of work. As here, I'm going to protect Kyogre. Protect Farofhorn. No reason to... Uh, no reason to let it take damage, possibly get uh, crit or frozen, as here he's going to go for the I Iron Head Ice Beam play. Either way, his Kyogre only has a max of probably three turns anyway, and Kyogre is the only Mon that's really doing the big damage. Of course, Mawile does do big damage with the Iron Head. However, the Ice Beam and Origin Pulse are probably the moves that I would probably mostly fear. As I think uh, Origin Pulse might be able to do the same amount to Farofhorn, or maybe a bit more because single target. Even though it's resisted, it's Stab plus the Rain Boost, so it's possible. I'm going to Leech Seed in case he tries to go for Sucker Punch again. As he doesn't, which is a good play, as he goes for the Ice Beam into my Farofhorn, he needs a Crit Freeze. He does not get either uh, Iron Head into the Farofhorn. That's just going to take Iron Barbs, but there's nothing he can do. Unless he has Fire Fang. If he has Fire Fang Mawa, I will concede defeat. As we are going to get the leftovers. Actually, no. We revealed his entire moveset, so he does not have Fire Fang. Play rough, Iron Head. We saw Sucker Punch and Protect. So yeah, no Fire Fang. As Kyogre is going to go down to the next Leech Seed. For Alphorn just doing the work it needs to. As now I could just Protect. Gain back my Leech Seed. Yeah. As he's just going to forfeit the match because he knows he cannot win. Especially since if Kyogre goes down, he had zero chances of winning with Mawile alone. So that would be the first game. We are going to take it. That was an unfortunate play rough miss from my opponent. I kind of expected him to target the... Um, I kind of expected him to target the other slot though. The reason is I expected him to target the Faroff or the... No, the Rayquaza slot that one turn was because... One, if my Kyogre protected... Uh, I wouldn't be able to switch out anymore, and he could just switch out gro his Growl and possibly just win the game from there. And if he, if he, uh, if he, if he, pl I could have also switched out for uh, for an into Kyogre. No, 
yeah, Farah Foran, no, Kyogre into Farah Foran, so I thought that play was obvious, but he probably would have predicted me to protect anyway, so, yeah, I guess I can see that now that I'm thinking about it, but here we're going to go into game two, uh, we do learn he's Citrus Berry on his Cresselia, so that is really good, he's forced, actually, I don't think we, re we revealed, no, we did reveal Encore, never mind, so, Let's see how we should go this game because I do not have a good way to touch them all. I think maybe just Kyogre as a lead would be pretty safe. Kyogre pretty safe? Hmm. Like Kyogre does the most damage out of my entire team to his Pokemon. However, you always have to worry about the... You have to worry about the... Groudon. The Groudon's really annoying for my team to deal with. If... Because one, I have to worry about Trick Room and I have to worry about the ground switch. Those are really big factors here. As I think I'm going to leave Lyperd and Kyogre. I think those are pretty safe. As, yeah, I think those are pretty safe. As I'm going to bring Farafarn and not Clefairy. Talonflame is pretty useless. I'll go Rayquaza again because it does the most damage to his team. It's Again, the win condition is getting rid of Groudon. That way my uh, Farofran just wins. Or the other win condition is getting rid of Cresselia and stopping the Trick Room and then sweeping with either my um, either my Mega Rayquaza. So here he leads, I think he led Mawile, Cresselia. No, Kangaskhan. Okay, he brought Kangaskhan this match. So he, feel, he definitely feels that he is threatened by my... He definitely feels he's threatened by my Farofarn, so that is fine, as we are going to set up the Primordial Sea now, unfortunately, unfortunately, Kyogre can be knocked out by a double edge. We do speed tie though, my Kangaskhan plus is Kyogre with speed tie if he's jolly, so. Okay, there are two plays you can make, he could... Just fake out. He could go for the double edge, which I'm kind of expecting double edge to be honest. I can also see him switching out Cresselia into Groudon. That's also very possible. So here, I kind of just want to fake out. Here's the thing though. It's really obvious I would fake out Cresselia. Kangaskhan would probably Mega Evolve here. I really am expecting the Cresselia to switch out. But he could also switch out his Kangaskhan into Groudon. Oh, I hate this mir this game. <laughs> I hate this decision turn one. I'm going to fake out Origin Pulse. You know what? We're going for it. Uh, if he decides to switch out Cresselia into Groudon, that's fine. I am able to neuter his Kangaskhan for a turn and I can Thunder Wave it the following turn. If he switches out Kangaskhan into Groudon... Um, he has to either switch. He has to switch out Cresselia, as he is going to withdraw Cresselia. Perfect. As that's probably going to be Groudon. Yep, that's going to be Groudon. Unfortunately, I did not make the read and go for the Ice Beam because that would have probably been the best read. However, that is completely fine. He does not fear role play, unfortunately, and I did not reveal my last move actually. So he was also probably expecting a Taunt. I could have also had Taunt on this Lyperd. I don't think I revealed Thunder Wave in the last game. As he is going to Mega Ball, but I didn't think so. Most Kangaskhan's carry the ability Inner Focus, but um, yeah, not going for it this game. As here, I'm going to fake out his Kangaskhan. He cannot go for sub with Groudon, which is nice as... Oh, wait. I know what I can do. <laughs> I know what I can do. So he's obviously scared of a switch into my Rayquaza because I could just Origin Pulse and knock out his Groudon, possibly. My safest play is to go for Thunder Wave into his Kangaskhan and just protect here. Yeah, just protect Kyogre because I do not want to lose Kyogre to a double edge because that could lose me the game. Kyogre is very ne necessary against this team, especially uh, with Mawile not available. Uh, Kyogre just has a much easier time sweeping. As he is going to withdraw Groudon, which is completely fine, and probably go into his. Um, probably into his Cresselia. Yeah, Cresselia. As I am going to protect my Kyogre here, and let's see what he's going to go for with Kangaskhan, as I do Thunder Wave to Kangaskhan. Uh, 
I have a chance for paralysis. I have... As he goes for a return into Lypert, which is completely fine by me, actually. The reason this is completely fine for me is because now I could go for a combination of Dragon's Ascent plus uh, Origin Pulse. Yeah, I'm going to go into my Rayquaza. And... I feel like Origin Pulse... Hmm. I forgot, Origin Pulse wouldn't be in the range, so it won't knock out Kangaskhan. So here, I kind of just want to Extreme Speed plus Origin Pulse. Yeah. I'm not going to Mega Ball because Airlock is quite necessary. As, let's see, we do get the Extreme Speed off onto his Kangaskhan, which is going to bring it down low as, let's see... He goes for the Sucker Punch into Kyogre, which is fine. I do not carry Water Spout, so... Oh, that does a lot. That does 50%? Wow, Kyogre's physical defense is so bad. I've only used physically defensive Kyogre, so I wouldn't really know. As, wow, that did nothing. That legit did nothing. Why'd that do nothing? Okay, so I need my Kyogre to win this game. So I'm going to protect my Rayquaza and switch out into my Farafhorn. I am forced to make this play because I need Kyogre to win this game. And I guess I could Extreme Speed and uh, Origin Pulse. That's definitely a play. How? Or just Scald. But no, Origin Pulse would do more. But one, that's a roll on Cresselia. Two, I don't want him sucker punching into my Rayquaza and going for an Ice Beam because that could also screw me over. He would probably just go for the return onto Kyogre. A low kick might actually... He might also go for a low kick into that slot, which, you know, is definitely possible. As here, I'm going to bring on my Farafhorn as I'm going to protect my Rayquaza. Play it safe. No reason to risk anything as here. He's going to get paralyzed, which is unfortunate. Uh, well, it could have been fortunate or unfortunate depending on the circumstances. But here, I am going to... I think I can Mega Evolve and SD. Yeah, I could just SD here as I can go for the Gyro Ball into Kangaskhan. Yeah, I'm going to Gyro Ball into Kangaskhan and SD. The reason I'm going for the Swords Dance is because I should be able to knock out everything he has at plus two. Uh, this includes his Kyogre. Well, actually, no, his Kyogre was physically defensive, so. Probably not that, but with her offhorn, Kyogre is not exactly a viable switch in. Uh, for offhorn, definitely underspeeds his Kangaskhan in Trick Room, unless he's like minimum speed Kangaskhan, which they don't run. They really don't run minimum speed Kangaskhan. As Delta Stream is going to protect me from Ice Beans. As he's going to go for the Helping Hand. Helping Hand Sucker Punch, maybe? As uh, Gyro Ball is going to connect with his. Kangaskhan, and that's going to pick up the knockout, which is really nice. And maybe I didn't have to Mega Evolve, but I was kind of actually expecting the Ice Beam. So I'm going to get a free Swords Dance up with my Rayquaza. Now, how many turns of Trick Room has that been? That has been three, I believe. Yeah, it has been three. So Groudon is going to come out, which is fine. As Let's see what it's going to go for. I'm curious what he's going to go for. Actually, oh man. Hmm. I think I'm going to protect my Rayquaza here. and Just double protect, actually. I feel like I can win. Well, he's probably going to sub Groudon. Oh, that's an issue. But the fortunate part about Groudon is he cannot really... Uh, well, maybe I should Power Whipped. Yeah, I should have powered to Cresselia. That was a huge mistake. I thought about that too quickly. The reason I should have powered with Cresselia is because one, uh, get rid of that Citrus Berry. Two, he was probably going to sub. I mean, I really want to assume he would go for the Overheat right now, especially with Kyogre as a switch in. As he goes for the Ice Beam into Rayquaza and he goes for the Overheat. Actually, so that was the right play. So here I am going to fire off. Well, I do not want him going for the Precipice Blades. He knows that I do not want him to do that. I think Extreme Speed plus Power Whip might actually be able to knock out his 
for Sally, so I am going to go for that play. Unfortunately, I am risking Power Whip. No, I am risking Power Whip, but if I, I don't think Jarabal KOs the Cresselia, especially if it's minimum speed, like I'm thinking, as we are able to extreme speed his Cresselia. Let's see if it's able to knock it out. Oh, wow, it's actually able to knock it out. That's huge, actually. That's huge. Especially if this Groudon cannot touch me. As we do get the Power Whip onto his Groudon, which is nice damage in general. As he goes for the Precipice Blades, predicting my Kyogre switch in, which is completely fine. As Precipice Blades is going to connect with my Kyogre, with my Ferrothorn. That actually doesn't even do half. I'm surprised, because they usually do half. As my Ferrothorn is going to heal as the Trick Room does return to normal. Now, let's see who he's going to bring out. As he is forced to bring out Kyogre. So that is nice. One. He cannot act actually he'd probably go for the hmm. Okay, I'm wondering what kind of ground on he is. Like oh wait, no, we've seen Precipice Blades, we've seen overheat, we've seen sub, he's protect, yeah. So he cannot touch my Rayquaza either way, especially with his Kyogre up. So here, I'm pretty free to Dragon's Ascent. Either slot. But I think I'm just gonna protect Rayquaza. And I could just protect. I could just protect Ferrothorn. Because he would most likely protect and Precipice Blades. Or protect Sub. I could see that too. Actually, he cannot touch my Kyogre. What am I saying? He cannot touch my uh, Rayquaza now that I'm thinking about it. My best place to Dragon's Descent the Kyogre. Because one day I will knock it out. It's a plus two life orb Dragon's Descent. It's. Even Primal Groudons can't live that unless they're like the weird single set which is physically defensive. But they do not run that in VGC, I'm telling you guys that right now. So I'm going to lead Seed to Groudon and Dragon Descent to Kyogre. As he's not going to protect, which is nice, uh, he probably double targeted either my Ferrothorn or he went just straight for the Ice Beam. As Dragon Descent is going to knock out this Kyogre, let me just say Swords Dance, Mega Rayquaza. This is what it does. This is what it does. If you get it set up. It will destroy. It is a monster. It literally is a monster. Let's see if he went for the overheat predicting that. Uh, nope. It went for the precipice blades. That is fine. As that is going to do a lot of damage to my Ferrothorn. Should it knock it out? Yeah, it doesn't knock it out. As we are able to leech seed his Groudon. And Rayquaza just wins the game with a plus two Dragon's Ascent. I have a Kyogre in the back. That's max speed. And it definitely outspeeds this Groudon. I'm really surprised he didn't go for sub. But I guess Sub wouldn't have changed the game either way because, number one, um, he Cresselia was knocked out and he wouldn't have been able to touch my Ferrothorn regardless. As here, I'm going to click Dragon's Ascent and win the game. And uh, I can just switch into Kyogre just to make sure uh, if I don't pick up the knockout. As he is going to forfeit and that will be a 2-0. That was a really unfortunate missing game one. I feel really about, bad about it, but that is Pokemon. We, there's a lot of misses. I think you guys, if you watch a lot of the VGC games that I've had, I lost a lot of games due to something going wrong. But that is Pokemon. That's the game we play. And that is why inaccurate moves suck. That's literally one of the reasons why I don't like running Mega Mall. Of course, I did run Power Up on my Ferrothorn, but that's because this is the only Ferrothorn I have. And I also had Origin Pulse, but that also missed the Mawal. So, yeah. Good game to my opponent. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please leave a like down below. Mega Rayquaza doing some work here. And I feel like, unfortunately, I did not bring the Clefairy, which I really wanted to. But it just had a terrible matchup against this team. But I feel like the team could do very well. And I cannot wait to play it more on Battle Spot. Please leave a like down below if you guys enjoyed this. Check out the rest of my stuff down below. Go follow my opponent on Twitter because that was a fantastic battle. He put up an excellent fight. And I'll see you guys next time for another video.